What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create this fisheye effects inside of After Effects. Now before we get started, I will say you are going to need this plugin called Red Giant Universe. Um, it has tons of different plugins built into this, so I do recommend getting this before you do this tutorial. You can do it without it, just this Red Giant plugin adds a lot more realism to this fisheye effect, so I highly recommend getting it. And then also, I linked this like overlay effect that you will be needing to use in this video, so make sure just to download that. That is obviously free for this tutorial, but yeah that and you guys should be set so this is what the footage looks like without any effects added to it right now um it's just a little yachty dancing around whatever on stage so what we want to do first is drag in our image that we downloaded or that you guys downloaded i guess um it's this fisheye like lens effect but we just want to rotate this 90 degrees so we have it horizontally and scale this up to like 56 so now when we play this back you can see that you have like this vignette i guess you can kind of say now what you want to do is you want to kind of create that like fisheye effect inside of the video because right now obviously you have like the the cutout but it's still like a flat video so we want to warp it by using optics composition i think that's how you say it but yeah just search that up in the effects and presets and this is just built in so bring that onto your clip and we just want to mess with the uh, field of view i'm going to do like 100 I think 100 looks pretty good. Um, we can turn this off also. Or actually, I might just leave it on so I can kind of see what's happening. Like, I can see the difference between our uh, fisheye and then the background. So, yeah. What we want to do is just go into our scale because we have it warped here. But obviously, you don't want to have this on your, your video. So, just scale this up until you don't see the uh, background anymore. So, around here looks good. 134%. Now you can see that the video is warped around the edges. And if you want to like make it even more warped, obviously you can just do like 130 or something crazy like that. But then you'll have to scale it up even more. But then you get like a super like fisheye warped effect here, which could look cool in uh, some like videos and films, whatever. But in this case, I think it's just a little bit too much. So I'm just going to go back to the field of view at 100. But we still got that like warped effect, but just not as exaggerated. So what we want to do now is kind of like have some RGB around the edges here as well as on the video. So just search up RGB in your fix and presets. And what you're going to do is create a new adjustment layer and bring that on top of your clip and just drag this RGB split on it. What you want to do is just bring this radius up to like five. And now you can see you get this RGB uh, around the edges here, maybe three, just mess around with it, whatever you like, maybe even four. Yeah, uh, I'll just stick with four. And already, this is looking really good. You already have that like fisheye effect pretty much, but I'm just gonna add a few more kind of effects just to make this kind of all tie together and look, I guess, a lot more like a fisheye lens. What I'm gonna do is add some uh, effects to this fisheye PNG layer right here. So we're gonna do um, Lumetri, Lumetri color. Just bring that on here and the basic correction. We're gonna bring the blacks up to maybe like 20. Maybe, okay, 20 is way too much. 10, maybe five, just kind of like mess with it. I kind of like how it's not like totally black right here, like a little gray, a little shade of gray. I think seven looks pretty clean in this case. So I'm just gonna stick with that. And then another thing we wanna add to this um, fisheye thing here is Gaussian blur. Gaussian blur helps a lot with the edges here. It just makes it look a lot more uh, fisheye, like in the examples I was looking at. So just make that like 50. We can just bring that above our Lumetri. And then you also wanna make sure you have repeat edge pixels here, because if you don't have that on, you can see like up here, it's just like all messed up. So make sure you have that on. But yeah, 50, you can even do like 30 if you don't like it too much. But honestly, I think 50 makes it look the most like real. So this is with Gaussian on and without you can see like this just looks really weird honestly in my opinion with this sharp edges around it so gaussian blur just kind of smooths everything out gives it more of a fisheye kind of realism effect to it i mean i guess we're almost pretty much done i'm just going to add a few more effects to the bottom layer but these are honestly optional uh i just think they give it more of a vhs old school kind of look uh and what i'm going to do is search up actually vhs and the effects panel and this is also another red giant universe plugin so highly recommend getting red giant universe if you don't already have it and with the blend with original we're going to do like 30 percent so adds a little bit of a like vhs or old school kind of look you can even do maybe less we'll do 40. i think 40 looks nice yeah and then the last one we want to add to this is glow um there's lots of different glow plugins you can use but once again, I want to use the Red Giant one just to make it uh, more simple for you guys. If you, do, if you do have the Red Giant plugin, that way you don't have to. Oh, that's Edge Glow. Uh, just do Glow. And just mess with this threshold here and just like 
kind of see where you want the threshold to be at. It'll be different for each video, depending on the brightness of what you have in your scene. Yeah, 85 is a lot. Kind of cool though. Honestly, the glow like adds a cool effect to everything. Maybe that's too much. It's honestly just like a lot of messing around with everything. We're just gonna stick with 86. All right, so now we're pretty much done with this effect. I would pretty much call this done, honestly. Like you don't really have to do anything else, but the last effect that I'm gonna add to this is S underscore grain. So this is a Sapphire plugin. Um, This is literally totally optional. I think it just adds it even more like realism to your uh, fisheye effect. So let's just drag this onto our fisheye.png. And right off the bat, you can see that there's a lot of uh, grain here. And we just want to lower this down to like 0.03. That looks pretty good. Maybe that's too strong. We can do 0.02. That's pretty good. Now you can see that there's some grain there. I mean, it's really hard to notice, but I mean, if you're being really picky with it, this makes it look a lot better. Uh, in my opinion, you don't have like the pitch just like black here. You actually have like some grain going on. And I'll kind of show some some example images that I kind of went off of uh, while creating this effect. Here is like one that you can kind of see. Honestly, like it's pretty similar. Like you have like the RGB here, uh, the splitting, as I was talking about earlier. You have some like grain uh, happening up in the corners here. And yeah, obviously the warped edges and everything. And then here's another one that I kind of went off of. So once again, you have some grain in the corners and then also you have this like kind of old school vintage look that I kind of like. So that's why I added that uh, old film kind of look. Pretty much almost replicated the uh, actual lens itself, but this is just using effects inside of After Effects and honestly think it turned out pretty good. So if you guys like this tutorial, make sure to drop a subscribe and like the video. And if you guys want to see more videos in the future, just leave a comment down below asking for like any questions or effects that you guys want to see in the future, I guess. Um, I'll try to answer your guys' questions. So yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.